Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So I'm going to get right into the video. I'm starting off on freshly blown out hair. I just did a trim so my ends are looking good, if I do say so myself. But what I'm doing is I'm just taking a small section and then I'm parting that into two because when I say we're doing mini twists today... I'm telling y'all right now my goal is to retain as much length as possible while making my twist look healthy and cute and all that jazz so I'm going to start off with a very small section I told you many twists and I'm just going to twist that up <laughs> This tutorial is very repetitive, but I did want to show you guys a couple times of how I'm doing the twist, how big the twists are, and everything like that. You also may have noticed that I'm not using any product, and you're going to see why later, but there is no product in my hair. But I will say I blow dried my hair with a leave-in in, and I did use heat protectant, but the leave-in is what's keeping my hair more moisturized. So definitely make sure if you're blow drying your hair, use a leave-in, then twist, no product. I always make sure to twirl my ends. They just keep it all together, especially since I don't have any product. Also, I am twisting my hair to the back and then going down to the side because I want my twists to lay a certain way. I don't want them to naturally want to go to the side. I want them to be to the back because then your twists can have like free range of motion. If I want my hair on one side, I'm fine. Other side, I'm fine because I twisted them to the back before twisting to the side. Y'all, I am just taking small sections. I'm not going crazy with the parts. I'm not using a comb to make the parts. I'm literally just taking a small section in kind of a straight line and twisting it up. That's it, that's all. <laughs> Now that the back is done, I went ahead and parted my hair straight down the middle and then I'm going to do another part and I don't really care about how that part looks to be honest, the one on the side, but the one in the middle is important so make sure it's a straight line. Then I'm just going to go ahead and do what I've been doing and do my twist. Remember I twist to the back and then twist down to the side, but all of them are going towards the back. <laughs> Okay, so in the front, the parts are important because people will see them, so I always make sure to take a rat tail comb and make sure the parts are straight. <laughs> 
Then for the very front, I'm adding this long and luxe edge control and I just do it to the top, like not all the way down, but I want my edges to lay. So before I even twist it up, I'm adding the edge control. <laughs> Y'all, this is a process. Not even gonna lie to you. It's a process. But then, you ain't really gotta do your hair for like a week and a half, two weeks. So it's lit. But all in all, this took me about three hours. Y'all, and I know y'all see this length. This was like the most exciting part for me. I'm like, I got inches. Inches. So now I'm taking that same edge control and I'm just laying down my edges in the front. You already know the drill. I'm just gonna take my silk scarf and tie it down, leave it on for about 10 minutes just so my edges will really lay. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna add some product. This is the melanin twisting butter. I'm just gonna be adding this or concentrating this mostly on my ends, but y'all remember how I didn't add any product? It's time to add product now, and this is so key. If you don't do anything else, follow this step. Make sure to not add product until the end if you want to get that length. And I want the cute curly ends because it just looks so healthy. So that's why I'm literally taking that butter and just twirling my hair at the end so I can get that nice curl. <laughs> I'm showing the difference so this side I didn't apply the hair butter and it's frizzy the other side I applied the hair butter and it's still shrinking up so the curls will come in more okay y'all so it took me about three and a half hours to complete all of these twists from beginning to end I think they came out really cute very wearable I'm probably not gonna wanna take these out because they look good. And you see, I kept my length. That's the reason why I decided to do the products at the end because I find that it gives me the most length. But the last time I did mini twists, I'll try to have that length here. Um, I did it on stretched hair, but I used too much product and my hair was really shrunken. But right now, um, I'm getting maximum length. And then moisturizing at the end, my hair is still very moisturized and everything. Just make sure whatever moisturizer you use isn't water-based because if it is, it will help, it will make your hair shrink up more. So mine was shea butter based and that seems to do the trick. I think they look really good. Let me go ahead and take this off. Okay, so I think they came out really cute. I got my length going on. And I like the way that I parted my hair so I can do a middle part. I can do a side part like this. I can just push my hair to the back if I want to. I parted my hair in the middle so that if I wanted to, I can like literally put my hair behind my ears and just wear it like this. But yeah, I can do a ponytail, no problem. I could do like half up, half down if I wanted to. Do like this. I 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.